My name is Fernanda if you're new here and if you're not then welcome back today I have a very exciting video. I have another yes style haul I actually have a yes style haul up on my channel already if you want to check that out I love everything that I got and that video actually did really well I think a lot of you guys enjoyed watching that so I'm so happy to be partnering with them again and bringing you back another haul If you like watching hauls, I highly suggest you going through the videos on my channel I literally have so many if you want money off your purchase use my code fern123 It'll get you money off. I also just wanted to mention that if you like anything that I show in this haul I'll have the links to it in the description box and if you click on the link directly from my description box then I will be getting a small commission but you don't have to do that if you don't want to that's just to help me and support me I'll leave all my measurements in the description box below so you can see for reference what size I am and also one more thing I wanted to add in if you were thinking about getting stuff on yes style I have two major tips one read the reviews I feel like a lot of them don't have reviews and it's harder to get something when you don't really know what it's gonna look like I did get some items that didn't even have reviews on it and they still turned out really good but I do know that sometimes it is a hit or miss the last thing I want to mention is that yes style is a company with a lot of Asian brands their target is Asian people which tend to have smaller frames and overall just smaller more petite humans so a lot of the things that I got I sized up but when you click on a product just read their measurement description but anyways let's just get started because we have a lot to go through first thing I got a white cardigan I'm actually obsessed with this cardigan if you watched my last haul I got the same cardigan in a blue color I posted some Instagram pictures wearing it around my like body basically like tied up and so I decided to get the white one and I'm so happy with the way it fits honestly this cardigan 10 out of 10 I feel like if you're gonna buy anything from this haul get these cardigans they're so like thick they're basically like the Brandy Melville ones or I feel like Aritzia sells some cardigans that are similar to this and honestly for the price like you might as well get this it is not see-through at all the buttons are good quality and the sleeves aren't too long because I hate when these sleeves like bunch up at the bottom so cute once again like I just showed you in those Instagram pictures I feel like tied across your body like this is super cute super trendy also if you are going back to school and you need something to cover up your dress coated things like if you have tank tops I feel like little things like this are just so helpful make an outfit look so much cuter and I feel like it does kind of elevate whatever you're wearing instead of just wearing like a plain tank top and pants you know you can just add something like this and it just seems so much more accessorized if you know what I mean going off of that cardigan I wanted to get a black one as well because like I said I'm so obsessed with the blue one that I have that I wanted to get it in black and white and I did get the white one obviously no complaints but like I said I ordered the black one and this is literally what I got first of all it's not a cardigan so I think they like messed up or something because I literally remember pressing like black cardigan whatever and I got this like t-shirt square neck type situation I mean, it's not like ugly But if I was gonna get this shirt like in this style I would have gotten a smaller size because this doesn't even fit me that well But I may end up like giving it to my mom or maybe I can figure something out and end up wearing it I don't know. It is still pretty cute. The material is really thick and really stretchy The next thing I got I am obsessed with I'm pretty sure it may or may not be a dupe to a Brandy Melville sweatshirt I don't know it is this Niagara Falls crew neck I think this is so cute and also it says Canada on it and I'm from Canada so you know quite fitting and if you wanted to know the best part about this crew neck it has pockets literally look at this have you ever seen a crew neck with pockets I haven't I don't know about you, but I haven't. And the inside is so soft. It's just got fleece all in here. I just ordered a pleated skirt from Princess Polly. And as soon as that gets there, you already know I'm gonna be taking an Instagram picture with my sweater and my skirt. I definitely think I'll be wearing this so much throughout the year, especially during these like next few cold months. I also think this looks super like vintage, like something that you'd get at the thrift store that everyone's like, oh my God, where'd you get that from? And you're like, oh, there's only one of a kind. But you know what? There is more of a kind of this. So if you wanna match with me, get on it. Next up, going off of our little crew neck phase here, I have this other one. It is like this light beige. Honestly, I have no clue what this pattern is. In the corner, it's got an Alaska cruise, some mountains on it. And then the back just has, again, the Alaska cruise, whatever logo that they have. And this is so oversized, like even bigger than the one that I just showed you guys. I'll definitely be wearing this a lot in the winter time. And you know, when you're taking those online classes in the morning and you're just dreading it and you don't wanna wear actual clothing, these big sweaters are gonna come in handy obsessed with it it's ginormous doesn't even fit in the frame okay taking a break from the sweater vibe I'm gonna move on to tank tops now I have two and starting off with the first one it just looks like this it is just a black tank top it is cropped it is short it is so tight I don't even need to wear a bra with this which is like my favorite thing ever I actually have this in white I wore it in my last yes style haul I'm gonna link down below the strapless bra that I normally wear with tank tops like this when you don't want to show the straps on top it is my favorite it's from Lacenza. I would wear this with a strapless bra or I would just not wear a bra I'm actually wearing the strapless bra right now 
out with this tank top and it looks really good. You can't go wrong with a black tank top. I feel like it matches everything and you can wear it under a lot of things. So like any jackets or cardigans, whatever you choose to put on top. Also, these are literally like $9.99, I'm pretty sure. The next tank top that I wanna show you guys is so summery. It is a halter knitted white top. This is the shirt that actually had no reviews on it and I'm actually so impressed with the quality. Like it is so thick, so soft, not see-through at all. And it looks really sturdy. Like I feel like this wouldn't break like easily or anything. The straps are just really long and you can tie it up in the back. I feel like lately I've followed a lot of like fashion bloggers and a lot of them wear a lot of open back items and they're just like holding flowers and like holding a bouquet or holding a tote bag and they just look so classy and I want to be them. So that's why I picked out this piece. If summer just started, I would probably get this in a bunch of other colors. Next thing I have to show you guys, I have three graphic tees. I'm not really a graphic tee kind of person. I don't know why I just like never have any, but I'm always in that situation where I'm like going over to like my friend's house and I don't want to wear a tank top. I don't want to wear a long sleeve. I'm not going to wear a hoodie. I just need a t-shirt and I don't have any. So now I've got three and I'm going to start off with this one because it is my favorite, even though it is really weird. It does say donor, donaire kebab and it's got a man cutting meat off of a kebab thing i get it it's kind of weird but i did see a fashion blogger actually posting it made me feel a little bit better about my choice and the models that were wearing it in the website looked really cute so i got it it is just this cream color and the writing is in like red and i just love that the sleeves are so big i feel like this is so cute i would totally just wear this like lounging around the house or like if i'm just like going out quickly going with friends whatever i just think it is so cute and it does have some like distressing on the neck and on the sleeves and on the bottom so yeah i have no complaints and um someone buy it so that we can twin and i won't feel alone moving on the next graphic tee that i have is quite basic i'm not gonna lie but i think it's cute it just has some butterflies on it they are all purple this is also an oversized t-shirt this one doesn't have the same distressing that the donaire shirt has you know you can't go wrong with it it's also black so it would literally match like any bottoms that you have and i'll definitely be wearing this a lot throughout the year as for the last oversized shirt that i got honestly i think this is my least favorite I was looking on the website like at the time I thought it was kind of cute but now looking back I feel like I could have gotten something cuter but it is just this white oversized shirt and it's got this like I've actually got no clue what's going on it looks kind of like Japanese but I also don't know if it's two people kissing it says some random words at the bottom but anyways it's just an oversized t-shirt kind of cute kind of fun for lounging around while I'm editing you know while I'm doing my homework it's also not see-through so I think that's really good okay, moving on I have one more clothing item to show you guys and then I have some accessories to show you I think I saved the best for last I'm obsessed with these jeans oh my god first of all they're just light wash denim these buttons are kind of like make a lot of noise but when they're all like buttoned up you can't hear that obviously but these jeans just fit so nicely and I actually got these in a size small 25 and I'm so happy that I did because knowing me I feel like I would have sized up these fit so perfectly they're high-waisted they hug my hips and the best part about them is that they are like baggy jeans I don't know they're kind of like flared at the bottom and I don't know if you guys picked up on it but skinny jeans out big jeans are in big pants are in if you still wear skinny jeans you know I have a lot of skinny jeans but I just feel like whenever someone wears like baggy jeans they just look so much more stylish and just like you just know that person just they know what they're doing in terms of what they're wearing so I'm trying to get a lot more like baggier jeans like this they don't have any designs in the pocket which I think is kind of fun I don't really like when they have designs on it and they've got this it literally says jeans which I feel like is kind of weird and they also make your bum look quite nice so I'm not complaining and the last few things I have to show you guys is three different purses um oh oh my god Purses are just so in style. I, I love them. I can't stop wearing them. I can't stop buying them. I'm literally gonna be like a purse, um, I'm gonna be a purse hoarder. I have too many of them at this point, but I just can't stop getting them because they are so cute. Starting off with this first one, I just got a white one. I think, you know, you can't go wrong with white. I do have a black purse and I wear it all the time. And so this white one, I think I'll get a lot of use out of when I wanna wear lighter items. It's also got gold detailing on the side here and same with the zipper. And I think it's really good quality, honestly. You can just adjust this to however tight you want it to be. And I think it's just so adorable. Like even with this outfit right here, so cute love it okay moving on to this black purse like i said i already have a black purse and i wear it all the time but this one has a chain on it so i mean i had to i had to get the one with the chain i think this is so cool so trendy will definitely make an outfit look a lot more exciting just because it has this simple chain on it got this little black detailing here on the front and it has silver like and it has just and it just has silver and it just has a silver silver and it just has a silver and it just has a silver, why can't I say that sentence? 
It just has a silver zipper and silver like buckles or whatever and I think this is just once again so trendy, so cute. Love it. We'll be wearing it a lot. I feel like this is very like fall. Honestly, I feel like I, I sound like I know what I'm talking about like fashion, but I don't know what I'm talking about. So maybe don't take my advice. And the last and final purse I have to show you guys is this blue one. This is like light blue and dark blue. I actually thought that I was getting a light blue and white purse. So this isn't the one that I thought I was getting, but I still think it is super cute. It just has a zipper on the back here and it's got silver like hardware all over the bag. And in the inside, it's got a longer strap. I think the black one does too, actually. So you can wear it like a crossbody bag or you can wear it as a shoulder bag. It also has a zipper in the inside. And overall, I just think this bag is really good quality as with all the other ones that I got. And that is all I have to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed watching this haul. Once again, use code FERN123 to get money off your purchase. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment something down below. Tell me what your favorite item that I got was. And just in general, comment anything. I love chatting with you guys. And it definitely helps my channel grow. And subscribe. Subscribe.